Good morning, I'm Sue, I'm one of the clinical support nurses in the emergency department and this morning I'm going to do some advanced plastering and our first demonstration this morning will be an above knee full cast. We've got our plaster technician Pam who's going to assist and demonstrate the technique and then we have Anne, our lovely model for us today, who's going to help us out. So we'll get started, lovely. Okay, so first I need to hold Anne's leg uh, this is going to be a full cast and we're going to put some padding on first. So we're going to start at the top of the leg and work our way down to the foot. Okay. So Pam's left enough padding at the top uh, to turn back and then she's applying the padding on 50-50 coverage for the rest of the leg. So this plaster would be put on for a fracture to the tibia or fibula or tibia and fibula and uh, today for purpose of demonstration we're going to pretend it's a tibial plateau fracture so we need to start our plastering at the fracture site so Pam will start plastering around the knee area. Bend the knee slightly, that's lovely. So we need to keep the knee in a um, slight flex, so a natural flex to make it comfortable for the patient, uh, about 15 to 20 degrees and I need to also keep the foot up at 90 degrees and make sure that we don't have any inversion or eversion ev of the ankle there. So Pam's applying her first plaster over the knee area, which would be our fracture site if it's a tibial plateau fracture. She's putting her second layer on. So the fracture site will be nice and secure. So then she continue plastering the rest of the leg. Pam's working her way up to the top of the leg, covering the thigh area. Thanks, yeah. It feels very warm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pam's working her way down the leg towards the ankle. the foot. So I'm just going to hold Anne's toes by the end of the toes, a foot by the end of the toes, sorry. I just need to keep that flex in there, we're just bending. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Important while this is just uh, hardening off, that we keep that knee in the flex position, and the foot needs to be at 90 degrees. And I just need to check that there's no eversion or inversion of the ankle. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
to spend this there now. That's it, we're all done. We need to go a bit more soup. Now we need to leave this to harden off for about an hour because we will need to um, do a, a tram line down the middle just to split it because this is a new injury and um, if it, there's any swelling we need to allow for the plaster to um, expand so uh, the cast doesn't become too tight and restrict circulation. Okay then, so we're back again for a little break and this plaster has now been on for about an hour so it's had a chance to harden off. So the aim now is to split it uh, before the patient goes to the ward. This will just allow for if any swelling takes place that the um, circulation will not be restricted at all. Now during the um, demonstration we did allow the knee to drop slightly so that has performed a little bit of a, a crack through the middle there which is not ideal and not what we want to do. Ideally when this plaster is put on you would have a, a third person assisting who would actually help to hold the knee in place. Uh, from the other side but for the purpose of filming that was a little bit difficult uh, so that's why we've got this little crack here but we, we shouldn't have that there. So Pam's going to go ahead now and show how we're going to uh, split this cast. It's a little bit noisy at times, um, it just creates a little bit of dust um, as well so you need to be in a nice ventilated room. Okay, happy to go? Yeah. Lovely. Just to say this saw will not cut you, it doesn't What you may feel is vibration. It will not cut you. You won't feel it. You feel the vibration. If you want me to stop, just raise your hand because okay. I can't hear you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> More like a tickle than a. <laughs> so you probably noticed when Pam was uh, using the plaster saw, she was going in up and down motion and not dragging it from side to side. If you drag it from side to side, you're at risk of getting a wound underneath there. So it's an up and down motion. She's put a um, some two lines down to split the cast, and um, so she's caused a tram line, and now she's going to remove that section which will allow for swelling that's going to occur. It's not done there, not. Just have to do that to So as you can see now that tram line has uh, been removed, that middle section has been taken out, 
and the padding's been left intact. And just to secure this now, um, the patient needs to have a crepe bandage put on the leg just to stop any undue movement of the fracture and transfer up to the ward to keep it all in place. And they shouldn't be applied too tightly. bandage there actually secures all the edges of the padding in as well. There we are. It's already done.